Okay, so this video is going to be a little different from what I normally do, uh, which is funny because in the past this is all I ever did, which not surprisingly did not get a lot of views. Yeah, I wonder why I switched my YouTube format. So anyway, it's actually 9.13 a.m. Greg Manorino should have his video out any minute, so I want to, and I want to get rid of, I want to get done with this stuff for today so I can go about my day. Mostly just relaxing, gaming, watching streams, and of course, raging at the crypto market uh, charts. All right, so, uh, okay. So the one of the things, so I knew that Ethereum 2.0 was coming out, but I always thought it was coming out in 2023. Well, it actually turns out it's actually coming very soon, within like the next couple of weeks, apparently. So, so it occurred to me that maybe the reason why crypto is actually down right now, in addition to the normal market FUD, is that there's additional fear and pressure coming from Ethereum's, you know, switch to proof of stake, right? Especially now that Michael Saylor is trying to like, this was a couple of months ago, I cursed him out on Twitter about it, and then I think I also mentioned it on my YouTube, and then some of you were nice enough to comment in support of that, which I appreciate, where Michael Saylor actually said that Bitcoin should be a commodity, but proof of stake and everything else should, you know, I mean, he basically implied everything else, but he specifically said proof of stake should be a security, right, just to screw, just to F us all over, right, you know, th th like, that really pissed me off, all right, that's why I also don't like Bitcoin maximalists or any maximalists. Because you want to be the king of the hill at everyone else's expense, and that's just not going to fly. All right. Yeah. I usually expect right wing people to be like that, but left wing people are just like that too. All right. Especially nowadays, all right? Because everyone's just being a selfish prick. All right. But you know that's just how it goes. So Ethereum's main test net set for proof of stake merge in early June. So okay. So this is so Ethereum 2.0 apparently is coming out a lot sooner than I thought. Okay. Uh, all right. So they're gonna do on the test net a merge. The test this test merge of the current proof of work chain with the new proof of stake one is expected to take place on June eighth. Mm. Excuse me. I only drank water. I still have to burp that out for some reason. That's funny. I guess my stomach is like really hungry. Probably because of all the body fat I gotta get rid of. Ethereum's main public testnet, Robson, is set to undergo the merge next month in one of the final preps before the Ethereum blockchain can switch to proof of stake. Okay, so it's not switching on June 8th. This is when the test actually goes live. Okay. Oh man, that means we gotta endure this for a while longer, man. That's actually a real problem. Okay, Paris Hosh, oh God, I can't pronounce his name, who works in the Ethereum Foundation, merged the pull request on GitHub today, meaning that this code is set to be implemented. The merge of Ethereum's long way to move to proof of stake, under which the current proof of work chain will merge with the proof of stake one. It's a big change, and there have been multiple tests to see whether it will work. The move to do so on Ethereum's main public test net is one of the final checks. Yeah, something like that is going to require a lot of work. When it comes to testing, a transition happens in two parts. The first is the Genesis version of the consensus layer is created. Then the network, in this case, the Robson testnet, goes through the merge. The first part will take place on May 30th, while the merge is estimated to take place on June 8th. Right, okay. Merging Robson is a huge testing milestone towards Ethereum's mainnet merge later this year. Okay, so Ethereum 2.0 is still coming later this year, early in the 2023. So that, has, so that actually hasn't changed. Okay. All right, so then this is not causing flood in the market. I could technically end the video here, but I do want to read more about this. Okay, yeah, we're right at the end anyway. And I did say it was going to be a short video anyway. co founder the Ethereum research took tool up. Uh, let me just find out. Okay, I believe there will be three public test nets run through the transition. If all of them go smoothly, the mainnet will be scheduled shortly thereafter. Okay, so if all the test nets go go smoothly, and they said there will be three more, he said. I don't know what I got scratch here. I believe there will be three public test nets. So I don't know. So I don't. Know, there might be three more after this, or this might count as one of the three. 
But whatever it is, they're trying to come out with Ethereum 2.0 by the end of this year. So Sam Smith, the merge on mainnet could happen as early as August. Oh, wow. So this is a lot earlier. So it's this summer. But stress that this is the this is his own guess and no official timeline has been presented. Yeah, because they have to test everything. Okay, so I actually I might actually have changed my mind on this because remember you have to get you have to get like specialized. I don't mind Ethereum, right? So this thing is recording, right? Yeah. So right now you still have to mine Ethereum with like actual like machines. So my question is, where do all those uh, machines go? What's their mining power going to look like? And here's one. And here is one coin that. See, here's the thing. The guy who made the uh, Elite Discord, he talked about this coin, this shit coin that I thought was crap, called Woodcoin, and he recommended back then when it was like five cents. Now it's like worth three dollars and eighteen cents. And he actually specializes in finding like these weird proof of work coins. So he said he's been noticing that like the past week or I guess the past couple of weeks, a lot of these proof of work coins, even one that I used to mine a long time ago called Infinite Coin, they've all been going up like crazy uh, for no real reason. Infinite Coin. This should, yeah, IFC. This should still be here. Now the problem is, is this thing actually doing well? I don't know why he's owning this coin. This thing still sucks after all these years. Yeah, but anyway, he owns a bunch of these like weird new proof of work coins, and they all been up like 20, 30, 100, 200, 300 percent. So it got me thinking. Um, and he mentioned something about Ethereum, and they're switching to proof of stake. And I was like, wait, that's already happening. So, uh, so I think that's actually what could be happening, right? The miners who are mining Ethereum right now, they need to transition into something else. Number two, there's like some uncertainty about Ethereum's, you know, switch to proof of stake. Because every time there's a major like hard fork, if you remember in the old, old days, for those of you who've been in the space for as long as me, you'll remember that there were times when everyone knew there was a hard fork coming in Bitcoin or Ethereum, right? And then it's like, oh my God, it's massive FUD, dump everything. So there'd be weeks, periods of weeks, usually weeks, but sometimes a couple of months, where crypto just wouldn't go until after the hard fork goes through. And of course, the hard fork always you know, went smoothly, right? Because obviously you have to test, test, test. But there's always that possibility that maybe the testers actually forgot something and then we all get screwed, right? We get bummed from behind with, you know, with the, without our permission and without Vaseline, right? And then it starts really hurting for a very long time. So, holy day. I don't know if if what I'm saying is actually true. That means crypto could actually be under pressure until like August or even September. Man, I don't know about you, but I can't wait that long. All right, and then we still have the stock markets and the bond markets and all this current fear that's going on to you know deal with. So I don't know, but whatever the case is, for some reason this dumb coin is you know making a lot of money, and I don't know if this actually was out. Yeah, this thing was released. I'm trying to go as far back as I can. This thing has actually been out for like several years. Wow. And now it's just finally having its day in the sun for some reason. I don't know. But there is but the max supply has already been reached for wood coin, so it really is just you know, just something that you hold, right? Uh, it's also not traded very openly in a lot of markets, but I do have I still I do have access to my Crex twenty four account. So I, I would just buy it there for me. You have to use a VPN, though, if you're in one of the banned countries. I know America and I think UK, and I know Canada is banned. I think Israel is the fourth banned country for some reason, uh, for Crex. I don't know. Uh, but you can just, again, just use a VPN, and that'll be that. So anyway, no, no, nothing to check out here except, I guess, Woodcoin, because that's the only one that seems to be doing really well for some reason. Uh, but with that being said, if it really is just because of Ethereum, then when everything goes fine, which it should, and then Ethereum goes up, everything else in the crypto market should start popping back off again. That's assuming, you know, the markets don't go too crazy. All right. And we'll have to see what the debt market does. So there's a lot of factors at play, but all I know is, 
I'm just sick and tired of this, right? Of all the stuff going down. I know the stock markets, I mean, they went up a lot yesterday. So today they have to give some of that back. Um, I'm just hoping that it's not going to give back too much. I'm guessing that's what Greg Manorino is also going to say. But again, we'll just have to, you know, take a look. But this is definitely something to watch for. Because this Ethereum, because again, I thought it wasn't coming until much later. But this is coming a lot sooner. So this is definitely something to keep track of for the overall crypto crypto space. All right, because if this fails, I can bet you we're all going to lose a lot of money because everything's going to go down. Uh, and that's the fear. All right. But if it, but chances are that's not going to happen. It should go smoothly. That's why they're having a test. Right. In fact, if one of the tests fail, that's actually a good thing because then they have to delay Ethereum 2.0. Right. Proof of stake. And the people will be like, oh, OK, then we don't have to worry about because it it's getting pushed back. So we could go back to normal. Right. At least for a little while. So. So, yeah. So that's basically it. And I guess we want a recommendation. I guess check out Woodcoin. I mean, again, this thing has. This thing has been around for several years, apparently. It was worth practically nothing, and now it's worth $3.17, all right? And there's no more supply that can be minted because it's already at max supply. So in a lot of ways, it's actually better than Bitcoin because Bitcoin still has to mine, out, mine itself out by, like, what is it, 2040 or 2050? I think it was 2040. Maybe I should actually buy some of uh, this wood coin. I don't even know what this thing does. I don't know. All right, anyway, I'm done for the day. I'll see you all, I think, tomorrow because the YouTube sources have been pretty active lately. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully more people come out with some projects. But again, I'll just see you whenever, most likely tomorrow. But if not, definitely until next time. But like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video. I rely on you uh, to help grow this channel because I honestly can't do anything, right? I just make stuff, right? So, yeah. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you're from. I'll, I'll see you again. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye on, on uh, this proof-of-stake stuff. And, of course, definitely leave a comment about this from time to time. Because the channel is still pretty small, so I can still read the comments. All right? So, because believe it or not, not a lot of you make comments. But at least most of the time, it's actually good comments, which is exactly what I want. All right? Because then, you know, yeah. Anyway, I've been rambling on long enough. See you probably tomorrow. Thanks.